good day everybody, it's your boy VRAM here to do a Nintendo OLED Switch review as well as a comparing it to the first generation Nintendo Switch that I always had but never used. So with that being said, let's get into it. Good afternoon ladies and gents or morning or evening wherever you are. Uh, today we are here to focus on the reveal or at least my personal review on the new Nintendo OLED Switch. So far, I'm transferring all my stuff over from my old Switch to my new Switch. Uh, the reason for buying for me is honestly, I wanna get back into using my Switch. My first generation Switch has been doing nothing but collecting dust. Yes, I do use it every now and then when I have people over to my house for some occasional Mario Party, some Smash Bros, some Mario Kart, basically anything that brings the house together. That's what I use my Switch for. I want to use it more for personal gaming, for campaign gaming. I recently bought Monster Hunter Stories. Um, I like the game in its docked positioning, but I want to enjoy it handheld. I want to keep playing the game handheld. And I believe the this, this Switch itself has just not been, or at least the first gen Switch itself has not been keeping me very involved with the game just because of how dim it is sometimes, the battery life, and just overall kind of just performance. I feel like the, the system itself doesn't do the game justice. With that being said, I already turned on the OLED. First things foremost, the first thing you, you honestly do realize, or the first thing you do see right away is the OLED. It's the actual OLED brightness. You see the brightness, you see the quality difference. You see the giant stretched out bezel. Um, it definitely reduced the bezel by a lot. Uh, you see how much bezel is on this one. Don't mind the glare. Um, but yes, that does make a huge difference. You get way more uh, real estate when it comes to gaming. You get a bigger picture. Yes, uh, it's probably less pixels because it's not as compressed, but the brightness is what we're here for and the actual OLED quality. So far, I'm loving the whole kickstand thing, right? Before you used to plug it in and you have to be real careful you don't stick your nails in the actual speakers and then jack up the mesh. But I do like the smooth kickstand. I do like how flat it goes. You can charge it um, as is. The charger is still in the bottom, unfortunately, so you can't stand it um, and play, uh, which is weird. I'm surprised it didn't change that. Uh, but you can stand it on a desk now and play it on a desk as flat as it is where this one kind of just like stuck out a little bit and just laid flat on a desk. So it didn't give you that, it didn't give you that uh, base, that space to charge it up and play with this one kind of, you could lay it at the edge, the edge of a desk or a counter or whatever and kind of just play it as is. So that's, that's one plus. The power button is more of a cylinder shape, um, not a circle. So that's, I guess, it's a little more flush. I guess that's different. The heat sinks, as you can tell, are very different. This one is more of like a, like a bigger space, square slash rectangle, where this one's a small slit. A lot of people are saying they feel a difference in the jiggling of the joystick, honestly. I don't, I don't wanna hype it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna placebo affect myself. Just because it's new, it feels better. No, it's honestly the same. I guess if you have a lot of wear and tear on your Switch, you might get some wiggling. But once again, I, I heavily use mine dot. So my, my personal reason for buying this one is to use it more on dot so I can actually take my Switch on the go when I want to. Besides that, the Switch itself, is a a nice white. Uh, I like to compare it to the PS5 controller white. Um, so it's going to look great in my collection because my PC is also white. Um, PS5 is white. I'm doing a whole, I guess, like Stormtrooper thing from Star Wars. That's kind of cool. The white, I like it. Um, pretty dope. It's a nice switch from, no pun intended, it's a nice switch from the actual red and blue. Um, I always had red and blue. I never replaced them. I never switched them. Once again, first gen, same screen protector. I, I had this since, not since the first day it came out, but maybe for like two years, right before the version two came out, um, with my luck, right? Um, but besides that, I did put them side by side and the brightness is different. The brightness is different. I maxed out this one, I put it on white, um, and there is a difference. Let me turn it on, even though I factory reset. OK, 
okay, here we are, finally. Okay, so we're at the home screen. It's honestly, uh, take off auto brightness, put the sound up. It's it's at the bright, it's at the brightest as possible. It might be a little, let me, uh, right? Here's the brightness of this one. And then with this one charging in the back, here is, I'm gonna try to put these right next to each other. So here's the brightness on this one. I'm gonna try to dim it a little bit, not dim it, but kind of just focus the camera on the brightness. But you can definitely see, uh, a huge size difference okay, in the bezel. Not huge, you not know, like five inches, but you know, just enough real estate to where you can be like, hey, why didn't they do this in the beginning? Why didn't they stretch out that black border and just give you more room to play games? And honestly, I like the cooler whites. I like the white joysticks. I like the stand. I like the memory card inserts, this little divot they have back here uh, that goes right underneath. Um, it kind of just slides, my finger. It kind of just slides right in where the other one was more of a, give me one second guys. The other one was right underneath this and it fell right in. So I guess there's more probability of losing it where this one is kind of just like right underneath the giant stand that smoothly closes. Um, but once again, when you do open this up and you have nails, the mesh is right there. So you kind of have to be really careful you don't put your finger in the mesh and then kind of just like ruin the entire thing. But besides that, the game console looks good. I was saying before, if money is an issue and you wanna upgrade from a first gen or a second gen to the new one, I recommend um, trading in, surprisingly, right? Trading in your old Nintendo Switch. I believe they go for $276 um, store credit for GameStop. I'm currently doing some research right now for Amazon trading. I know that's also an offer. They'll pay for the stamp, they'll pay for everything. Um, but with that being said, it's pretty much, it's, it's your go. If you're going from second gen to third or fourth gen, cause I know the light came out, I would say do it if you want. It's not a must. Um, if you play dot, there's no reason to do it. If you want to stop playing dock and play more handheld, that's kind of why I did it. I wanted to play more handheld. I wanted to chill on the couch. Um, I wanted to be in bed. I wanted to go out um, and use it, which I rarely don't. But now I'm more uh, pushed toward doing that just because of the way it looks, just because of how bright it is. Um, I honestly want to start playing it right now. Like that's how that's how good it looks. Um, where this one is kind of just like a bland. Uh, you can you can even see it right there. You can see how warm this one is, depending uh, compared to how cool this one is. Um, but uh, with all with that being said, I mean, just you have to really side by side, right? Side by side. It's you, you can see the actual colors. You can see the bezels right here, right here, right. See how how thick. If you already have one, you know how thick it is. Um, but uh, the new one does come. Well, it's a good thing I was getting traded in. The new one does come in with a pre-screen protector. I recommend you don't take it off or else your screen will be um, susceptible or at least sensitive to scratches, smudges. You don't want to scratch an OLED screen um, at all whatsoever. Whether whether it's a TV or a monitor, you don't want to scratch it at all. But as of right now, this is it. This is the new Nintendo Switch OLED. Uh, boom, with the closing stand with the brightness. It looks really good. It matches with my panda in the background. Panda, panda, panda. Um, but yeah, so far I'm excited to use it. They are sold out almost everywhere. But to those who are trying to get their hands on it, good luck. Stay healthy out there while you are on your, on your search to find it. And uh, that being said, I was your host, VRAM4990. Yo, me, I'll see you later.